Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Mitch over at IndieSoft. It is Tip Tuesday, and this week I want to share with everyone um, a feature that we added into the system, I think around uh, about a version or two ago, um, and it's kind of a very specific feature, but I think it can benefit uh, a particular set of customers. Um, the feature is the ability to take an existing template that you have where you don't have test points, right? But, and the reason I say it this way is we have a lot of customers that they use templates just for charges, just for pricing, just for naming nomenclature um, in some situations. So let's say we have a scenario where you have a template that you've got established, you've been using it for a very long time, but you never actually utilize the test points in the system. Well, what we have now is, is you know, uh, in the system here, you always have the ability, you've always been able to go in and you can actually save um, a piece of equipment as a template, but then you're starting over with a brand new template. So, so that's this is. Not, I want you to be aware of that feature. However, this particular tip is about how to take existing test points that already exist and get them added to an existing template that already exists as well. Okay, so to do this, you know, it's as simple as like let's say I've got these test points here for the 5520 under you know item A 101. There's all my data data points. You can see I've got you know a couple hundred here. Well, and I've already got this pre-staged, but let's say I go into my template editor, and you're going to see here I've got this template Flute 5520 template. Now, let's again hypothetically say that, let's say I had this template set up for, you know, a long, long time. This is where I've been, you know, housing my charges for my 55, 5500 series, etc., and I've got all kinds of equipment connected and linked to it. But if you look at this particular template, I don't have any test points at all inside of here. So, one, you know, one of the things that we let you do now is you can actually, inside of this grid, you can right click and there's an option in here that allows you to import your test points from an existing piece of equipment. So if you choose this, it's going to open up a dialog that asks us which, you know, asset IDs, test points do we want. In my case, I want, you know, A101, there's that, there's that calibrator's test points. So when I hit OK, what it does is it pulls in those data points. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, why can't you just copy and paste, etc.? And the reason being is, um, well, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And of course, I could minimize my templates and save that. But the template execution or the template editor tool is actually a separate executable. So essentially, it's a separate program. So copying from you know, one program to another you know, can, can present those challenges. So that's where inside of here, we created when you're in the template editor if you don't have test points and you want to import just the test points in from a piece of equipment you can now right click and there's that option to import test points from a piece of equipment um, i hope this helps i know this is a shorter video uh, but if you have any questions on this feature please do not hesitate to reach out to myself reach out to our technical support team we're always here to help you uh, but thank you and hope you have a fantastic day and a fantastic week